So let's go with some more realism examples here with some B class requirement. So in this example, I'm not going to use the complete step by step method. I'm going to use a shortcut method. So my requirement is my requirement here. I have given here. I got a network size with a 4000 host with 1000 host 500 and 200 host. So I want to write down the range and as they are in different sizes, I'm going to use some VLSM. I need to write the range with subnet mask. That's my requirement. Okay. So to make this possible, so first we need to go with some higher requirement here. So I'm going to start with 4000 requirement here. So requirement of 4000 host. So when I have a 4000 requirement, what is the nearest value power value satisfies my condition? So check for the two power table. In the two power table, total power of 12 satisfies my condition. Uh, that's 4096. So I'm going to take total power of 12. 4096 is the possible size of the network. So whenever you are writing the range for the bigger numbers, if you go back to the B class examples, what we have learned. So we always use a formula of total power of H, right? To the power of H divided by 256. So I'm going to use 4096 divided by 256. How many blocks of addresses are required for 4000 addresses? In 1000, I get four. In 4000, I get 16 blocks. So I need 16 blocks of addresses required for this to write the range for 4096 addresses. So let's write down. So what is the size of the network? 4096 is the size of the network because of 2 to the power of 12, I think, right? 2 to the power of 12 is 4096, 11204, yeah. And the range starts from 0, 0.0. And I need a group of 16 addresses, that is plus 16 here. So which means it will be 16.0 will be the next network and my networks ends on 15.255 and the slash value will be slash how much from 32 if I subtract 12 let me write down here to get the slash value to get the slash value I need to subtract from 32 if I subtract 12 I'll get slash 20 so slash 20 is your network bits so I'm going to take uh, slash 20 here slash 20 so this is my first network now my first network starts from 0, 0.0 to 15.255 and it's going to provide me somewhere around 4096 addresses so it's a group of 16 blocks uh, 0, 0.0 to 15.255 now similar way we need to do the same thing in the remaining examples also so let's take the next requirement my next requirement is how much it's 1000 so 1000 means the nearest possible value which satisfies my condition is to the power of 10 1024 will be the possible size if you check the two power table 1024 is the nearest possible size so i'm going to take to the power of 10 which means my host bits are equal to 10 and how many blocks of addresses were required so 1024 to the power of h divided by 256 i need four blocks of addresses okay so four blocks of addresses are required in order to get my 1024 four blocks okay so so which means to write the range i need four blocks of addresses So as for this example, I need four blocks of addresses. So I'm going to take the two to the power of uh, 10. That is the size of the network is 1024. So I need four blocks of addresses. It's going to be plus four. So which means the next, next size will start on 20.0 and my range ends on 19.255. So I need four blocks of addresses, 16, 17, 18, 19. And the slash value will be slash uh, 22. 22 because uh, here you can see the host bits are 12 sorry 10 from 32 if I subtract 10 it's going to be how much slash 22 so the same slash value I'm writing here okay so this is the next size requirement so my next size is from 16.0 to 19.255 it's going to accommodate around 1024 addresses which is a group of four blocks of addresses so here, are, let me write down here also, what is the slash value from 32 if I subtract 10, 
it's going to be slash 22 okay so this is my next and after that let me just come down here a little bit to find the remaining values so I'm going to find the remaining values here so the remaining values will be uh, what's the next requirement the next one requirement is 500 host so the requirement is 500 host and what is the nearest value satisfies to the power of 9 512 is the possible size which satisfies my condition you can see 2 to the power of 9 is 512 and then 512 means I need two blocks of addresses so if you just divide 512 divided by 256 so if you, if you just do this you need two blocks of addresses and then what is the submit mass submit mass will be from 32 if I subtract uh, 9 it's going to be slash 20 20 23 so that is my that is my submit mask so this is the submit mask and then the blocks of addresses is the next calculation. So I need two blocks of addresses in order to accommodate 512 addresses. So it's going to be 2 to the power of 9, 512 will be the size of the network. I need two blocks of addresses. So it's going to be plus 2 here. And the next size starts on 22.0, which means my range ends on 21.255 with a slash value of 23, slash value of 23. So this is my next size which starts from 20.0 to 21.255 a group of 512 addresses which needs two blocks of addresses and the last requirement is how much the last requirement is just 200 host 200 means 2 to the power of 8 uh, 256 is the possible size which I can divide so which means 2 to the power of 8 it will be 256 which means I just need only one block and the submit mass will be from 32 if I subtract 8 it's going to be slash 24 now here you can see in this example this is your equal to C class example but it is not C class so don't think that when you have a slash 24 it's going to be C class but it's going to be a B class network only but the after dividing or after submitting the size of the network is equal to C class okay so so mostly the submit mass, the, the range will end on 22.255 because when you're starting from 0 .0, 0 to 22.255, we get exact 254 or 256 addresses and the slash value will be slash 24, the more equal to C class. Now here, this is how the range will come here. Now the range is always written based on the size of the network. Now, based on the size of the network, we need to increment the values here. Now, one thing we need to remember here when you are incrementing the values, let me just take an example here. Now, the incrementation of the values is completely based on the size of the network. So, the increments, whatever we are doing, it totally based on the size of the network. Okay. So, let's take an example. In, in our C class examples, which we did in the basic first examples, whenever your network requirement is less than or equal to 128 okay so let's say we got four portions x dot x dot x dot x so we always increment in the fourth portion because one portion in one portion you can have not more than 256 addresses starting from 0 to 255 okay so in one portion we can only have 256 addresses so which means if your network size is less than 128 we always increment in the fourth portion so if my requirement is greater than or equal to 60 so if my requirement is greater than or equal to 256 even if you take the network requirement is 256 let's say you got four portions we need to increment on this portion the third portion because if your network size is 256 then the range will start from 0, .0 .0 and ends on 0 0.255 which means the next range will start from 1.0 so which means it will be increments of 1 so if your network size is 512 it will be multiples of 2 because we need 2 blocks of addresses for 512 if you are using 1024 addresses we need 4 blocks of addresses which means the increments will be plus 4 here and if you have a network size of 2048 it will be 8 blocks like that it will go on plus 8 if your network size is 4096, it will be 16 blocks plus 16, something like that. 
So whenever your network size is uh, greater than or equal to 256, we always increment in this portion. And if your network size is greater than or equal to 65,536, in that case, we need to increment in, in the second portion here. Why? Because uh, when we are uh, when we are incrementing when when your network size is 65,536, which means it is 2 to the power of 16, which means these two blocks are not sufficient because the size of the network is how much 65,536. In that case, only we we increment here, which is which is not generally common. Uh, you don't find this such a big networks, but this is how we need to remember. So the increments, it's always based on the size of the network, what we are using in case of uh, in case of any class, whatever the class you do submitting, it can be A class, B class or C class.